Hey there and welcome back to the channel. As you know, I'm rather addicted to these old Volvos, especially the round fender Volvos, and recently I found a late 50s 122 four-door. I'm hopeful that it's in great shape, but today we're going to go have a look and see if this car is worth saving. Uh, there are other cars at this site that we'll check out. So come along with us. Me and the old lady are going to check out some Volvos abandoned in the woods. Like we do, you know. Let's do this. Yep, that's a 142 fuel injected B20. Huh? I think it's a later one because the handles are this style. If it was a early 70s, it would have the handles like on that Mercedes over there and they have the push button. Mm -hmm. Like the, actually the 122 should have a similar handle. This thing is rusty. Mm -hmm. It is worse than my Amazon is. A lot of the fuel injection stuff is sitting around in the engine bay here or in the <laughs> in the cabin I wonder if it was originally a GT I don't know oh goodness I was hoping this engine might be salvageable it is a B20 has an aluminum remanufactured distributor on it Power brakes or boosted brakes. Yeah, can you hold that up? You have to hold kind of hard on it. Learning how to close your Volvo hoods by pushing on the hinge. This is very rough. So you said the back seat's kind of good? Yeah. It was in really nice shape. That's pretty nice. Say that again. Did these come with like a vinyl covering on the on them or no. something? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know much about 140s. So comment down below if uh, you ever bought a 140 and it had a vinyl roof. Four speed. Might have been an overdrive car. Because it has the the plug for it and everything. Yeah, this puppy's a little, uh, little cooked, isn't it? I think it's interesting that it was orange and then repainted it sometime. I think that's what the deal is with the roof. Mm -hmm. I think it was originally orange. Weird that somebody put a vinyl top on it, though. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen that. Never? Yeah, vinyl top on a 140. This 122. Oh, unfortunately. Huh? The trim is really nice on it. It does have very nice trim. It's four-door trim. I don't know how much of the four-door trim works on a two-door or a wagon. The sedan and wagon trim all interchange. Because from the belt line down, everything should be exactly the same. 
Uh, it has the early grill on it, which we saw in the pictures. Yeah, they're they're in very rough shape. So it looks like one grill is usable. Well, now even that one's coming apart. Door opens nicely. <laughs> so this might be an early car. It's got the dash extensions, but no dash. But these pieces are specifically the late 50s, like 59, 122. A question about the um this what it about has a, yours doesn't have this does it no nope that is an early car thing that's cool though mm -hmm. i wonder if you could put that on your car that's a good question you know i think the hatch would actually work on the coupe but I don't think uh, this whole thing is in really rough shape. Some glass. The patina, though. It's got great patina. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Guess we should explain. You, you can't. You can't buy that anymore. You can't buy that type of patina. <laughs> I wonder what happened. It probably got run into while it was parked somewhere. <clears throat> Comment down below if you have any idea what you might pay for this car. Say, I think that's a B18. Oh yeah, I can see it over there. That's a B18. If it were a, I don't know if that's a early VIN number. This is definitely an early car. This is a late 50s Volvo 122. So it's... What's sad is this car is actually worth a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. If it were in nice shape. Isn't that how it always goes though? Yeah. In this condition, I don't... I can't see it worth being too much. Mm -hmm. It's not worth dragging out of here because it's too far gone. I do want the fuel pump off it though. Because that's got the fuel globe on it. This piece here is a big glass globe. So you can see your fuel in it. And when it gets dirty, you pop that off, you clean it. That's what you would do back in the day when you had uh, cars you could service. This one might be beyond its service interval. The Vega buses come, or Plymouth Velari, I don't know. I'm not familiar with the 70s stuff. 850 Turbo, this is for sale.
240, early 80s model because uh, of the fender. So quad lights on the grill. Oh, it's complete. That's a pleasant surprise. This has the god awful ignition box under the hood. This is probably like an 82, 83. Um, honey, these boxes are known for not working when it rains. <laughs> it rains outside to start the car? Nope, not happening. Crank and crank and crank all you want. Ain't gonna run because of that box right there. This one isn't too far gone. Which might be fun to consider someday. Uh, the motor is a B21 or B23. I think it's a B23. I'm not entirely sure. I don't, I've, again, I'm not familiar with these older ones. There should be a marking on the engine, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, it's got a good lip on it. That's worth it. This thing is kind of worth it. But it looks old, mostly. We got a window for the rear. You know, it'd be great to put on the front of it. What's that? Those quad rounds that I got from Mike. I kind of like this car. See, that's the thing. You buy the parts first, and then you buy the car. Yeah. I bought, I was given headlights that somebody didn't want. Man, these doors open nice. Black interior. Oh my god. Comment down below if you think we should save this car. But look at the, the rocker. Like where the... I got rust over here. A little bit? Yeah, well, rust like the green wagon had. It does have the cool mirrors. Oh, it's a sunroof car, which sucks. Uh, yeah, you know, jury's out. Less than ideal. Release mechanism <laughs> for the trunk. It had power. It's got a handle. Oh, for Could the sunroof? The yeah. yeah. The older Volvos have a crank. Kind of cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But power power windows. Yeah, it's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. It's got at least three Coronas. <laughs> so does my. Never mind. I feel like there's a joke there about beer, but we'll just we'll let it go. I do not think it's ever been repainted. But at this point, you don't really know. I put a battery to it, hot wired it, and ethered it, and it sounded good. It fired off? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. How long ago was that? Uh, a month or two. Had oh, okay. Time. And the little red one, my dad, that was a driver. He ran it hot. So it oh. had to have the head pulled. Okay. Just so you know. I appreciate that. Thank you. I said, I don't like to encourage buying more shit boxes because we have. Plenty, but this one is actually like seemingly solid. The hood's bent. Yeah, but I mean, you could easily source a hood. <laughs> yes, you're right. If only you knew a guy or two. I know some people. Well, I mean, it'd be easy to throw a flat hood on it and then quad rounds to record me. I'm gonna take a serious look at this car and find a reason why we should not buy it. Got the flashlight laying on the ground. Honey. What's that? The catalytic converter has been cut off of it. Oh. <laughs> this car is in very nice condition. Underneath. Somebody may have already done stuff to this car. I was just getting the gunk out of the thing here. 
That looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit of rust in here. Right there. Yeah, this is the spot that I was picking at before. Can you back up a little bit? Oh yeah, definitely rust. Yeah, this one. Similar situation on this side. It's starting. Oh yeah, definitely got rust starting in, in the end here. That kind of sucks. Push fart. Can you see the screen on the phone? Mm -hmm. You see the gas tank? Mm -hmm. Holes through it. So it needs a gas tank. Missing the key, so we'd have to put a ignition switch in it, which I can do. Somebody's been in the wiring, which is unfortunate. Has a old school phone mount, which is funny. I don't know what those are. No keys. Oh wow, look at that. The uh, <clears throat> sun visor clip is good, but the visor broke. I don't know what that is. I just fell in my lap. It's unfortunate that it is automatic. Okay. It's a little... What's going on now? It started raining kind of heavily, so we put the good camera away. So you're gonna get some uh, phone footage now. But old lady still, you know, toughing it out. I appreciate her for it. But we're gonna keep wandering through these cars. It's always funny coming to look at these car collections because the people have a very specific type of car that they like. Mm -hmm. or, here it's Packards and, and Opals, seems like. Well, I think it was a little bit of Anything he get his hands on. There's another Volvo over there. That's the one we're looking for. Let's take a look at this 740. <clears throat> oh, it was hit in the front. It's got the air dam, which is pretty cool. The guy said his brother sold the turbo off of it, which is unfortunate because that's really what attracts me to this car is that it was a turbo car abs unit is worth some money master cylinder is worth some money i don't know if it's worth taking though because it's pretty rough somebody grabbed the wing off of this already and that was the only part that I was interested in this car. Which sucks. Maybe it's the guy that wanted the motor out of the... Maybe. Got the big Volvo center caps. Is that the intercooler in there? You know what I wonder? Mm -hmm. If the intercooler brackets are kicking around. It's got the turbo ECU in it. So what now? Did they all come with fog lights? Um, I don't know. I think the turbo cars definitely had the fog lights. This one's in turbo intercooler car. So I think I see the intercooler back there against the seat. So that is relevant to my interests. So they might say. Lots of random stuff in here, though. Random, random stuff. Wing is gone. Oh, 
unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, the intercooler is bent, which is not, not good for us. And I don't see any brackets anywhere. Some wiper arms. But what's sad is those brackets usually get lost. Lost to the land. These are really cool cars when they were in good shape. Ah, ah, bugs. <clears throat> anyway, so there you go. Uh, it's not in good shape. Comment down below, should we save the early 122? Should we save the not fuel injected, fuel injected 142? I don't know, you tell me. How about you get in your garage, you fix something, huh? Have a good day. <laughs>